In this video, let's just take a quick look at how to convert from radians to degrees. So you've already watched the video on what is a radian and you've seen why we use the conversion factor that we do. So to convert from radians to degrees, we simply need to multiply by 180 divided by pi. And to convert from degrees to radians, we need to multiply by pi over 180. So let's just do a few examples. So for 30 degrees, if I would like to convert that into radians, I need to multiply by pi over 180. Think about you need to have pi in your problem or like in your answer. So you don't want to necessarily put that into decimal form, but let's do both. So 30 pi over 180, we could reduce. They both divide by 30. So we could say that would be one over six so I could either say that is pi over six radians, which is usually a very appropriate way to write that, or it could be that someone would like for you to round it to a decimal. So I'm just gonna write both. So, or we could say 0.52 radians, but pi over six is a better answer because it is more exact because you haven't rounded it off. So for number two, let's convert negative 160. So same thing, we're gonna multiply by pi over 180. So that would be negative 160 pi divided by 180. So those both divide evenly by 20. So we could say that would be negative eight pi over nine radians. Or, we could put it into decimal form. So let me calculate real quick. That would be negative 2.79. And that's rounded off. So again, only if someone asks you to round it off, would you wanna do that? Otherwise, leave it in terms of pi. So leave pi in the answer. Okay, let's do the next one. So we're gonna multiply 130 degrees by pi over 180. So that gives us 130 pi over 180. So we could just divide those by 10 and say that that's 13 pi over 18, or you could get a decimal and round it off. But again, 13 pi over 18 is a more exact answer. So that would be best. Let's see, 13 pi, I'm just using the pi button in my calculator. 13 pi divided by 18 would be 2.27 radians if we needed to round it. And then negative 225, so times pi over 180 would be negative 225 pi over 180, and then we could reduce it because 225 and 180 both divide by 45. So 225 divided by 45, would be negative five, because it was a negative. So negative five pi over four. Or, if asked, we could round it. So I'm gonna write that one down as well. And that would be negative 3.93 radians. Okay, so if you are converting from degrees to radians, the main idea is you just had to multiply by pi over 180, and then you either leave it in terms of pi or get a decimal. Now let's go the other direction. So if we wanna go from radians to degrees, we just have to get rid of pi. So for these, you wanna multiply by pi, excuse me, not pi. I've been saying that a lot. So multiply by 180 over pi, because notice now pi is in the denominator and they will cancel each other out and then you can multiply what's left. So you get negative four times 180 in your numerator divided by three. So negative four times 180 divided by three, I can see that 180 divided by three would be 60. So negative four times 60 would just give me negative 240 degrees. If I have 2.4 pi and I wanna convert Again, you want to get rid of the pi. So put pi in the denominator. Multiply by 180 divided by pi. The pi would cancel out, and then you just need to multiply 2.4 times 180, and that gives you 432 degrees. All right, let's do another one. 
So if we have 23 pi over 12, put pi in the denominator. So it's 180 over pi for the conversion factor. And you want to multiply 23 times 180 divided by 12. So 23 times 180, then divided by 12 would give me 345 degrees. And the last one is negative 17 pi over 9. So put pi in the bottom, the denominator, so that the pi will cancel out with the one in the numerator. And you get negative 17 times 180 divided by 9. So let me calculate. Negative 17 times 180 is negative 3060, then divide that by nine and I get negative 340 degrees. All right, so that's it for converting. So notice the conversion factor for radians to degrees is just the opposite of what you need for degrees to radians. So thanks for listening.